Hello, everyone. Let's solve this problem right away. We have square root of x plus square root of 2 to the power of 2 equal to 2. Now, your first step is obvious because this and this will cancel each other. And now we have x plus square root of 2 to be equal to 2, right? Now, the next step is to make root 2 the subject. And when I do that, root 2 will be equal to 2 minus x. Because this plus x becomes minus x on the right. Now, I want to remove the square root as I square both sides. Okay? And then... Square root and square can always cancel each other. So 2 will be equal to 2 minus 1x is the same thing as 2 minus x into bracket 2 minus x. And now we can open that bracket. So that 2 will be equal to 2 times 2 will give us 4. Then 2 times minus x will give us minus 2x. Minus x times 2 will give us minus 2x. Then minus x times minus x will give us plus x uh, squared. And then if I take a step further, 2 will be equal to 4. Minus 2x minus 2x will give us minus 4x. Then I have plus x um, squared. Now, what do I do from here? Okay, so I continue from here because... I can collect like terms to so have 2 minus 4 to be equal to minus 4x plus x uh, squared. Minus 2 will be equal to, I want to write x squared first. Then minus 4x will appear. Then from here, I want us to rearrange this. If I write this first, I'll have x squared minus 4x, then this minus 2, since it's coming to meet with this, it becomes plus 2, and everything equals 0, because there's nothing on the other side at the moment. Now we have a quadratic equation, and we are going to solve this using the formula method. The formula is this. x is equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. Now, our x will be equal to... <clears throat> so the b here is the coefficient of x, and that is minus 4. So I'll write minus minus 4, because it's already minus 4, and b is having negative. Then, plus or minus... Here now I have square root, um, square of minus 4. Put this in bracket and square it. Then minus 4 multiplied by 1 times 2. Now how did I get 1 and 2? We have a, c. a is the coefficient of x squared and that is 1. And c is the constant which is 2. Now this will be divided by 2 times 1 because a is still 1. Now, what do I do from here? x will be equal to negative, negative will give us plus 4, then plus or minus, square root of minus 4 squared will give us 16, because negative, negative will be positive. Then minus 4 times 2 will give us, um, will give us 8. Then the whole of this is over 2, isn't it? Okay, so if we continue, x will be 4 plus or minus, we'll have 8 in this bracket. And this is all over 2. But do not forget that we can break this down so that x will be equal to 4 plus or minus. 8 is the same thing as 4 times 2. And then we have over 2. Now... 4 here is a perfect square, so we can get its square root. And now, x will be equal to 4 
positive or negative, square root of 4 is 2. Then the 2 in the, in the square root sign will appear. This is now over 2. But I can break this down again because this is the same thing as x equal to 4 plus 2 root 2 all over 2 or I have 4 minus 2 root 2 all over 2. Yes, this is what this means. And then I'm going to continue so that x will be equal to now, I cannot add 4 and 2 root 2 because 4 here is not carrying root 2. But what I will do is to split this because this is the same thing as 4 over 2 plus 2 root 2 over 2. Or I have 4 over 2 minus 2 root 2 all over 2. Okay? Then from here... I will take a step further. X will be equal to 4 over 2 is 2. Then plus this can cancel this. So I have root 2. Or 4 over 2 is 2. Then minus this will cancel this. And I have root 2. So what are we now saying? We are saying that X is equal to 2 plus root 2. Or 2 minus root uh, but if you try to check this, it is only one of these solutions that satisfies the, the given equation. You can check it for yourself and know the one that satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching.